As they land, they'll get the dust on their feet and body and climb down underground into the chamber. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the most simple and stress-free way of completely destroying a ground yellow jacket nest. If you follow my channel for a while now, you know this time of year friends are constantly calling me to dig these nests up and deal with a dangerous situation. But today, I don't need the bee suit. There's not gonna be stinging and swarming. Instead, I'm just gonna place a small amount of insecticide powder. It's called 7-SEVIN 5% dust right at the entrance of the colony. The yellow jackets are gonna come and go as usual. They're not gonna try to sting and swarm. They don't know they're being poisoned. But as they bring that dust down underground, they're gonna share it with the queen, with the larva, and within a day, they're gonna be completely dead. Now, Seven's been around a long time. People use it in their garden. It claims to kill over 65 different insects. You do have to be careful. You don't wanna kill good insects like honeybees, but for yellow jackets, an isolated application right at the entrance is gonna do wonders. You do have to be careful, read the label. I'm gonna wear a face mask, goggles, and latex gloves. But let me show you the colony of yellow jackets we're gonna kill with seven dust. So here's the entrance of a ground yellow jacket nest. As you can see, it's a small hole about the size of a dime that's well hidden down in the grass. A friend of mine discovered this nest in their backyard when they walked too close and were completely attacked by yellow jackets getting stung many times. Now, as you can see, there's workers constantly coming and going from the entrance. They're bringing food back to the colony. There's also a guard soldier hanging out and keeping an eye on things ready to fly up and sting anything it views as a threat. Now, normally you'd never want to approach these, but if you do very calmly, you can get pretty close without invoking the attack mode. The workers that are coming and going seem pretty distracted, but the underground yellow jackets seem to be keyed in by any kind of ground vibration. So what I'm gonna do is very cautiously and slowly approach the nest and apply a very light dusting of seven right to the entrance. As they land, they'll get the dust on their feet and body and climb down underground into the chamber. This powder is very effective at killing yellow jackets, but it does take a while, and that's an advantage. That way, many of the yellow jackets that are returning will bring a lethal dose down underground. Now, if you don't want to risk getting stung, I'd recommend you mark the hole and return at night when it's dark and the yellow jackets are dormant and apply the dust then. We'll just continue to let the yellow jackets walk through the powder dust and we'll check back tomorrow to see the results. So it is now the next morning and there is no activity coming from the nest. It appears the powder worked very well. I'm gonna dig up the nest and check it out. Normally, I just recommend that you cover it in dirt and leave it alone. There is still insecticide there, so I'm gonna wear the gloves. Make sure you have a mask and you don't breathe the powder. But let's take a look at how well this method worked. I found the nest, it's a pretty good size one. Let's take a look at it. Nothing but dead yellow jackets down there. Well, it's not the largest ground yellow jacket nest that I've dealt with this season, but it's still a pretty good sized colony. Layer after layer, these chambers are full of eggs, larvae, and pupa, the next generation, but I couldn't find a single adult that was still alive. As they entered the nest, they carried that powder down underground and share it with all the other adults, including the queen. And after 24 hours, they were all completely dead, making seven one of the least stressful and most effective ways I've ever seen at dealing with a very dangerous ground yellow jacket nest. If you hire an exterminator, they can cost several hundred dollars for someone to come out, but it's not necessary. With one bottle of seven, it only costs about 10 to $15. You can kill over a dozen of these nests, and that's because it's so effective. Now, normally I don't like using poison for dealing with pests, but in this case, it works so much better than digging up a nest or pouring liquids down the hole like water because it doesn't always work and you can still get stung. Without a bee suit, you would get completely attacked by all these yellow jackets. This doesn't work very quickly. It takes a while, but after a day, all the yellow jackets are dead, except the ones that are just emerging. They're sealed off from the dust. There's a few in here right now that just came out and uh, those are newly emerged. They'll probably have enough dust on them to kill them. But I'll take care of that quickly. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who told me they used this method to try it out. Over a hundred comments from people who say they use seven to deal with ground hornet yellow jacket nests and that's because it works well and it's very easy. Now on my channel, I'm usually trying to catch rodents like mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, but occasionally I branch out and deal with yellow jackets and bald-faced hornets. I have more videos coming soon 
And currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the next video.